he gets 412,000 likes, only 12,000 dislikes, okay? Turkey Tom suggests that Pyro did know the age. He like had a bunch of evidence that Pyro probably should have known the age of this person, right? So he makes like this Google document, right? And then he makes a video responding to Pyro Cynical saying that he didn't know the age. And he gets 49,000 dislikes and only 10,000 likes, not even 10,000 likes. Okay. Today we're gonna learn about optics by using Daniel Keem as a example of sorts. Now, you're probably thinking, why would you ever use Keemstar as an example of something? Well, the reason is because Daniel Keem, Keemstar, DJ, Keemstar... <laughs> ...actually is a master at the optics war. At the optics, at the winning optics, winning optic battles. And there's no wonder why he's the Don in the commentary community. In the commentary community, they aren't very smart individuals and even keem wants to confirm it e even keem confirms as much right here so it came from the horse's mouth right it's not just me it came from the don's mouth luckily lately because things have not been going as planned and keem is so used to winning the optics war he has been kind of letting things out and getting a little too upset and when Keem gets upset, he just blabs and blabs and blabs. Now, to the average person, average person in the commentary community, because Keem pretty much described everything as, let me put it in nice terms, people only care about optics and who looks like they came out on top, not who actually is on top. Look, in this instance, Keem is dealing in an absolute. Keem's absolute is that there's no redemption for Pyro because Keem considered Pyro an adult at the age of 19. An adult in the sense of he needs to take responsibility for his actions because in Keem's mind, subconsciously, he thinks a 19-year-old is a 25-year-old. Why do I bring up the age 25? At 25, you're pretty much supposed to be set. Your prefrontal cortex. You know, we've talked about that here and there. Well, that's already ready, right? You've taken in all the knowledge, and now you have more control of your actions. You can plan, you can be more methodical. Some people, it develops a little faster. Other people are still impulsive. And that's why, generally, I believe, there there comes this whole saying that that the adults need to be the adults in the situation and it makes sense when you're 25 because you know prefrontal cortex up until that point though you're only technically an adult by the legal definition of the law which is 18 and 21 when you're allowed to actually drink weird the laws are are, are strange they're not always consistent I don't know if you've seen, but the legal age of whatchamacalls it is 16 over in the UK. So yeah, things aren't very consistent. So why Keem is dealing in absolutes when it comes to a guy from the UK is beyond me, and from a guy who allegedly had the ability to be a consenting adult at 16 is beyond me. Look, 100%. I understand Keem's logic. I understand most of these people's logic, right? I'm here just present an alternative and, and a little bit of a I want a challenge give me a challenge and it's not my fault that they can't really rebuttal this and they need to resort to the whole below me tactic because primarily that's what the commentating community does they run on cults of personality and they rely on you know as Keem put it the stupidity of others because Keem just literally said what I've been saying People don't care about the truth. They care about who looks like they telling the truth or who looks like they're in the right or who looks smart. That is literally what they care about. Another thing they care about is who looks strong. To all the people trying to respond to this tweet and convince me that somehow Turkey Tom suggesting that Pyro probably knew the age is worse than Pyro having furry play with a 15 year old for all of you people there is no argument you could possibly make that would make me think that you're intelligent i look down on you 
<laughs> as a lower human. <laughs> Because who doesn't like a strong leader? Now I want you to pay attention to the clips I'm about to play. Keem basically in the second clip trashes Pyro's fans or anybody that tries to refute his logic. Later on, what would you think Keem would do? Hmm, let's think about it for a second. What would Keem do? Well, Keem would come out dominant in dominant fashion. Now this isn't me kissing up to Keem or anything by any stretch of the imagination. I'm simply pointing out the facts and what's presented. Much like I pointed out the facts and what is presented and all the other alternatives for Pyro. If that makes me a Pyro stand by their definition, well, they're just as stupid as the people Keem is saying are dumb, which is the most ironic bit about this too. Every time Keem wins the Optic War, there is a reason why he shouldn't, but yet he gets away with it because of the same people he's complaining about now. Now, if that's not irony, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, clip, 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 roll the clip, monkeys. <laughs> like you are not on the same level of intelligence. You are stupid. <sighs> I would like to make an apology. In the video up above this one, I said to all the people defending Pyro, I don't look at you as an equal human. I look at you as a lower human. I messed up. Most of you defending Pyro don't even view yourself as humans. You view yourself as foxes and dogs and kittens and all different types of furries. Now, this is either going to trigger you or you're going to get a good laugh, hearty laugh out of this. Personally, to me, I, I actually got a good laugh out of it. And the reason why I got a good laugh out of it is... Well, if you haven't seen, I just, I really don't care about the popular thing. I don't care about validation from a large majority of people. I, I get dislike ratioed for my hot takes here and there. I mean, although some of them are bad hot takes, let's be real. Uh, <laughs> I still don't, like, crave, I still don't cave under pressure nowadays. And that's because that phase of my life is over. But... Other people, it can't be said the same about them. And ironically enough, I think Keem falls under that category as well, right? As do many of the other commentary guys. So again, all this stuff right here, very ironic coming from Keem. And primarily, he's not wrong in a sense, but he's not right. But because Keem deals in absolutes, he is right for his audience and anybody who deals in that absolute. If You know, you guys keeping up? So for anybody that does believe that Pyro is a terrible person for doing this and their idea, the thing that's planted in their head is that Pyro took advantage because in their mind, Pyro being 19 is the equivalent of 25 in their minds, right? Then, yeah, Pyro is, is bad to them. And of course, they're going to stand by Keem even more so because Keem is doubling down in this instance. He insulted Pyro's fans as well as... Again, the commentary fans, which that wasn't the smartest thing to do. But then his later responses, clips, more or less went at Pyro's fans and solidified that he was talking to them primarily. And the third clip was just a double down with a little funny joke at the end. Because it is funny and it is clever and it is witty. Whether you dislike DJ Keem or not, Daniel Keem did make a funny. He said... <laughs> This man over here said, I'm sorry, I, f I forgot, you guys don't look at yourselves as human beings, you <laughs> look at yourselves as anthropomorphic animals. It's funny because on a technical, on the most technical of bases, on the most surface level of things, it's a truth. Uh, they really do, a pre like, they do dress up <laughs> as animals and some of them even go the extra mile is to try to behave like animals. That's why there's a layer of truth to this and that's why it's witty and it's a good dunk of sorts in a defense if that makes any sense to you overall in this one tweet which is then followed up by two other tweets you get what i'm saying keem won the optic war here now here's the funny and interesting thing of all this right if turkey tom would have just taken this entire t tweet thread from keemstar and used it as his response video instead Tom would not be having the hard time he is right now. 
Because Tom would have established dominance, Tom would have stood by everything he said on a technical level, and would have taken those people that Keemstar has right now, those people that deal on the absolute that Pyro is this, this, or that. However, he didn't do that. He just kind of danced around it a little bit. Again, it's very interesting how the optic war, the optic battles, actually play out. You can either get away with doing an apology while looking strong, like Diesel Patches did, or you can get away, well, not even get away, you can just get hammered in, like Prison Made Luke, who looked extremely weak in his reply, and Tom, who just kind of borderline down the middle. Because this is the only defense I can make for Tom, and I could make an entire video dedicated to this, so let me know if you want that. But to Tom, I think he looked up to these people as much as freaking you know, any other random small commentary channel did. And because of that, and because these people are primarily freaking adults, like, Augie is, like, my age, Boblax is 23, I think the Oreo's 23 as well or something, I'm not sure, but they are much older than the small commentary channels, right? Like, 16 or so. And even Tom, who's 18, he apparently is not even in college yet, I'm not sure, I'm hearing mixed reports on that. But... If that's the case, then it's very easy for them to be influenced, Tom included. If anything, the only defense you could really put out for Tom is that he was misled throughout this whole thing. Again, I could go into the specifics of why this is on another video if you're interested in that. Which I probably will cover, but I've been putting out the Oreos video for way too long, so that might come next. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Subscribe if you like these refined takes. Support the channel by giving it a like and a share. I greatly appreciate it like tony the tiger it's great and until next time guys love you all know you all and uh we'll catch you all in the next one peace out